all guys, welcome back with me, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. United Kingdom construction returns to growth but maybe not for long PMI. London returns activity among British contraction companies improved unexpectedly last month, although the outlook darkness as growth in new orders drive up a survey showed on Thursday. The S&P Global or CIPS construction forecasting managers index PMI rose to 52.3 in September from 49.2 in August and was above the 53 threshold for growth for the first time since June. Economists polled by Reuters had forecast a fall to 48.0. United Kingdom construction companies experienced a modest increase in business activity during September, but the returns the growth was followed by light project and easing supply shortage rather than a flurry of new orders. Timor, economist director at SRP Global NYSE SPGI Market Intelligence said, New orders show the weakest growth since May 20 and 20 shortly after the coronavirus pandemic hammered Europe and concerns about raising interest rates, the energy crisis and recession risk hit confidence, he said. Price features were the weakest since February 20 and 21 a potential silver lining for the Bank of England as it monitors the impact of inflation in, in the broader economy. The all sector PMI, which includes data for the service and manufacturing sectors released in recent days, fell to 49.4 for from 49.6 in September, its lowest, lowest since January 20 and 21. Stocks is saw oil up as investors with jobs report. Washington Reuters United States stock were volatile Thursday as investors awaited Friday's monthly United States jobs report. While oil continued to rise on announced big supply cuts from OPEC Plus, the United States wavered between positive and negative territory as investors grappled with murky economic data offering conflicting views view on, on how much interest rate hike were beginning to bite into the economy. All three major indicates were lower by midday trading, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was down 0.74%, the S&P 500 dropped 0.71%, and the Nasdaq Composite was up 0.51%. The MSCI World Equity Index, which tracks shares in 45 nations was down 0.65%. The dollar tick up as the United States Treasury yields with benchmark 10-year Treasury notes up for 5.6 basis point at 3,812 percent the dollar index, which tracks the greenback versus a basket of six currencies, was up 0.98%. The risk in the United States is, is waging on quitties and is driving up the United States dollar too, said David Martin, market analyst at equity capital in recent weeks. The greenback has been a popular safe haven play and considering the fall in equities is also re revising a lift in that regard. I think 
that's all movie for me don't forget to like comment share and subscribe